Hey guys! Hi y'all. Welcome back to the channel. Chill down show. No. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Show. I'm Chelsea. And I'm Daniel. And this is the Chill, the Chill down, down Show. show. Uh, as you can kind of see, we're sponsored. This video is sponsored by Boohoo Man. 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 Yep. So no, no, it's not. I no, just. We wish it was. Yeah. If you're watching Boohoo Man, people, then we like your clothing. Literally, his whole wardrobe is basically Boohoo Man That's at it. this point, and he wants to get more for summer. And I'm quite big, so I can show for the. the... Welcome to the channel. Let's do this again. <laughs> so, as you can see by the title of this video, we are doing the the couple's ca compatibility test. That's right. So we're going to see if we're compatible or not. No. So yeah, we I have we a test on the computer. This one is just called... Why has it got COVID-19 on it? I don't know. Relate the relationship people. So I'm rubbing my eyes because it's like 11 o'clock at night and I've got work tomorrow. So yeah, I look tired and worn out. <laughs> so it says, Relate has increased the availability of a highly trained counsellor to support everyone's relationship during this unpredicted time. Oh, that's why. That's why it says COVID-19 update. Oh, shush. Anyways, we've got questions. So we're going to read them and then answer them to what we think, I mm. guess. So number one is, as a couple, would you say that you share a common vision for your future? A, no, not really. B, not at the moment. We'll see what happens. B, mostly yes, but don't have it all plotted out. D, yes, we frequently talk about our future goals together. I think D, we always talk about always. our future, we're always on that future. We're constantly talking about our children, like all our, we've got all our kids' names now. We have. We're constantly talking about our wedding, we know where we're going to get married. That's right. We, we're talking about uh, getting a mortgage one day and getting a house down south somewhere. Hello my love. So yes, we are very much that couple. But to be fair, a few months in we started talking about stuff. That. It's really I'm bad, nearly isn't two it? years in. So. We was um in the pub, do you remember? And I was saying to your oh, mum and dad, yeah. I was drunk, and I'm like, we'd known each other for what a month. Like that. And I was like, can I marry your daughter? I want to marry your daughter. And do you know what? If I can find the clip, because I'm sure I still got the video somewhere, I'll include it. You here. showed me that work a couple of weeks yeah. ago, didn't you? And I was so I'll, I'll include it here. That's that was literally, funny. I think, a month into our relationship. Over nearly two years ago. Yeah, literally nearly two years ago. Hello, my love. Must love. Oh, you're so cute. You filming? Yeah. No. Ain't he gorgeous? Would you mind if I marry your daughter? You don't be allowed. You don't be allowed to. As long as you take you away. <laughs> can I have? But if you don't work out, you can't bring her back. Can I have your permission, both of you? Seriously, uh, no, I can handle that. She's worth it, like L'Oreal. Oh, you're the only one who can. Look, I can't handle it, Ben. <laughs> would you mind, Tina? Would you? Would you let me marry her? Mum, yeah, in the future. Yeah. Oh, no, obviously not now. Not now. But just saying. Just saying. Okay. Question two, if someone asks you how compatible you were as a couple, what would you say? A, we're just rubbing along, I guess I don't tend to give it much thought. B, we don't have that much in common, but we're okay for now. C, our relationship isn't perfect, but we're strong as a couple. D, we see ourselves as very connected and on the same page about the things that are most important to us. Stop with the fingers. Sorry. I'm going to be born and say D again, because I think we're, yeah. we're, quite, we're quite in sync with um, goals and what we want. and We are, very much so, to be fair. I don't want to be boring. I know it's not a drama that you probably want, but... <laughs> uh, question three. How do your political views match those of your partner? A. It's likely night and day we avoid talking politics. B. We scream us different points of view at each other. C. On a few things we match, but a lot of the time we have to agree to, dif to differ. D. We have a lot of similar views and have learnt to respect each other's viewpoints when we, when we disagree. Put the fingers. Sorry. Um, well, when it comes to politics, all I can say is I know nothing about politics, but we've my family have always voted Labour. Yeah, well. So I don't know if that's. Yeah, we've prob we've mostly probably been Labour, but then most like lately we haven't really been voting because we're just so. Like, no, we've. Like sometimes we all vote Green Party because I know that's the minority where you probably wouldn't choose because it's between 
pretty much conservatives and labor mm. but green is probably where we match more with my family yeah labor for mine because we're working class um, yeah we never really had a i did more. like uh jeremy corbyn last time i did think i voted labor last time because of the whole NHS part that he said he was going to mm, help with. And all I've, that. I've always voted really Labour. I mean, I can't stand politics anyway. It's just, you know, it gets too much. They're all politicians, all liars, as we oh, all know yeah. anyway. Exactly. They always promise the truth and nothing ever happens. It's true. So, what would you say for that one? D again? D, yeah. yeah. Alright, question four. When it comes to religion, are there any points of contention? A, we don't really talk about religion, as we know it will cause an argument. B, we can never agree on this and like, argue all the time. C, we do differ in some ways, but we try to make it work. D, we have very similar ideas and work to understand any differences too. Um, what do you think? Um, sometimes if I say something, you can get a bit pissy about it to do with God, but not often. Okay. So maybe C. When have I got, what have I got pissy about these? That, I can't remember what I said, but I said something to do with God. And you was like, oh, don't, that, just stop talking, otherwise we're going to get into an argument. Yeah, I can see me, so that's what I usually come out yeah. with, yeah. Because I am quite, re I'm not madly religious, but I'm religious enough where, I don't know, you, you've probably seen. We haven't actually showed them the room time, oh, but no. we will show you the room time. It's got lots of, like, God ornaments and stuff. Yeah, ornaments and Cups, crosses. Crosses. And, or stuff, so yeah, I mean, I think we'll be seeing that we, yeah, you know, we do different ways, yeah, but, but we, we try, try to, to make, make it, work. it work, yeah, we do make it work, yeah. Is that, and we've spoken about with our kids and stuff when we have them that we're going to get them baptized, but ultimately it's up to them if they decide to follow the religion or not, yeah, definitely because I'm not religious, I no. don't have a religion, no, so shame, shame, shame. and he's you're Christian, right? Yeah, yeah, so. That's what uh, question when I'm not misbehaving. Well, yeah. Question five. How do you spend your spare time as a couple? PlayStation a, four. A. We don't really spend much time, much of our free time together. B. We argue a lot about not <laughs> spending enough time together. C. We tend to pursue our hobbies separately, which works for us. D. We have a nice balance between shared interests and separate hobbies. See, I'd say D because I love PlayStation and you love your phone. Yeah. But then we do, we like hanging out. We love out hanging out together, Obviously, going on dates. Or we do we YouTube yeah. together. Exactly. So, so I think, yeah, D as yeah, well. Yeah, we like going out to the same sort of things, don't we? Exactly. Um, question six. When it comes to finances, how does your attitude differ to that of your partner? A, we don't bother talking about money. B, we have pretty different attitudes when it comes to money, which tends to cause arguments. C, we prefer to keep our finances separate so that we are responsible for our own money decisions. D, we tend to agree on most things to do with money. We're in the habit of discussing things and then making decisions together. C, we don't really make decisions together because it's not like we have a mortgage, we don't have to pay rent together. No, I, I earn know. my money, you earn yeah. your money. Mine goes on food and you sort of save yours. And you know, oh, I haven't you, been. Well, you buy clothes and I yeah. buy food. So. I buy stuff from Primark when it's opened. Yeah. Um, and I just... Yeah. Obviously, once we do live... Well, we do live together. But once we're, like, got our own place where we have to share, like, grocery shopping... Where does that come from? I don't know. That's a bit naughty. I didn't do it. It's a bloody great chunk out of the wardrobe. Yeah, I don't know where it came from. I noticed it the other day. Oh. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, so obviously one day when we do live together properly as our own house with the kids and stuff, we'll have to split bills and all that stuff and pay for the children and all that. But right now, we don't really no. thing. Like I said, my money goes on PlayStation 4 games and food and your money goes on Primark and exactly. So I would say online retailers. See then, innit? We prefer to keep our finances separate so that we're responsible for our own money decisions. And Amazon, I'm an Amazon fiend. I love Amazon. I love Amazon too much. So yeah, do you agree? Yes. Yeah? Okay. <clears throat> Question seven. As a couple, would you say that you regularly share a laugh together? Not really, we don't have a similar sense of humour. Uh, imagine. <laughs> Our humour jars with one another. We actually often end up rowing instead of laughing. We do have a giggle together sometimes and like similar comedy shows. We share a laugh most days and makes us feel connected. We share a laugh most days and it makes us feel connected yeah, because okay. I haven't got any good looks, so I rely on my humour, you know. You do have good looks. Ah. Ah. Um, I love humour, you love humour, we're on the same wavelength. 
apart from when I literally fart, and she'll be like, you're disgusted, I'm like, no, he's better out than in. We're sitting there having dinner, me, Chelsea and her mum, and I'll be like, oh, what's that? They're like, no, and I'll lean over, I'm... And disgusting. The stink. I think it's hilarious. No. I'm laughing thinking about it now. Like, I'll poo with the toilet door open, and the cats will come in, I'll be stroking the cat while having a poo, usually brushing my teeth, and, and her mum will walk past and go, shut that bloody door! And Chelsea would be like, you're disgusting. Can you stop with the fingers? All oh, right, calm yourself. I've told you three times now. Can you carry on with the video? Don't even tell you again. Don't start an argument on the video. What's up with the fingers then? Shut up. Leave me alone. No. You did that last night, but I said again. Oh my god, shush. Can we carry on with the video? Ah. Question eight. During the holiday season, how is it? Yeah, how easy is it for you to decide whose family to spend the spring Christmas with? Really, this had to come up. We tend to split up and visit our own families. <laughs> we often don't agree, and it causes massive rows. We tend to spend the holiday season away from our families, as it makes life easier. We've always planned ahead in order to affect, head off conflict and take it in turns. Well, no comment. Yeah, but also Christmas, you spend here now. Since mm -hmm. you moved in, mm -hmm. and then Boxing Day, you'll go see your family. I'll go see my family. Mm -hmm. Well, it will be like that this year. Last year, we wasn't able to do that. Last year was a catastrophe due to COVID. So, thanks, COVID. So I don't know which one to choose. Then we choose A. We tend to split up and visit our own families, or C. We tend to spend the holiday season away from our families, as makes life easier. I don't know. Don't know. What one do you think? Split up in some own families, maybe. Yeah. It's a bit weird, but... Okay. Question nine. How close are you when it comes to sex and intimacy? I don't see nothing wrong. <laughs> we just have mechanical sex. We are pretty passionate. It's the one area that's always been good. We like to hold hands and have a cuddle. Intimacy is important to both of us and we always made time to be close. What one would you say? Intimacy is important to both yeah. of us and we always make time to I be close. That one as well. Sex is a very big thing. Yes, we enjoy sex. <clears throat> we also enjoy making love. I'm I'm a big cuddler after. Yeah. I like a snuggle cuddle after. I like a kiss. I like a we usually lay on each other and fall asleep in each other's arms. Yeah. Very what we call snuggly, very snuggly. Yeah. And we do love good kiss session. Oh, I do like a I do like a good smooch. <laughs> Washing machine. <laughs> Okay, last question. When it comes to talking about raising a family, how similar are your ideas? We just muddle along. It's a real bone of contention as we differ about most things. We realise that we have to compromise. We share similar values and beliefs about parenting and maintain a regular dialogue to ensure we stay on the same page. Yeah, stay because we have the same, we want to raise them the same well, way, you know. Exactly. Okay. Right, you answered D in the personality quiz seven times. We have similar beliefs and values about the important things in your lives, from family and friendships to managing money. This has enabled you to create a strong and secure relationship. However, you both understand that your relationship needs constant and consistent nurturing. It's this understanding that stops you from taking each other for granted. You acknowledge that you just being on the same page isn't enough. You've learned that in order to go the distance you have to maintain connection communication and compassion you invest you invest in this as a couple and regularly work on it and this keeps your relationship healthy if you're planning on getting married our partners marriage care run fun and informative marriage preparation courses okay whatever so i guess we've done well that means we're compatible i think so she didn't actually say it but no I mean, yeah, a lot of it seems like we're compatible from this message. Mm, a lot of people who've watched these videos have seen that we I become a jar and get on your nerves, but I think we're compatible. I think we're compatible. We're comp compatible when we have a laugh together, we enjoy spending our free time together, um, we're very passionate when it, in, it, in the bedroom, we're very passionate when it comes to how we're going to raise our family, yeah. we're very passionate about our future, you know, how we're going to have children, how we're going to um, find a home, you know. Yeah, we've really like, got like a whole plan yeah. for our future. I think so. Yeah, like 
I'm obviously going to be starting uni in January next year, so that's a three year degree. So I'll finish in December 2025, I believe. Mm. No, 2024. December 2024, yeah. Right. Um, so we want to, obviously, to get um, maternity leave, you have to work for six months as a midwife to then get paid, basically, for being off for the year. So we're going to wait six months anyway to try make a baby. Obviously, it doesn't just happen like that. We do know that. Um, there is a bit of trial and error, <laughs> but that will be like six months after. And we also want to um, get married in July 2025 as well. We should have been married. So we're planning to get married in July 2025. We are not yet engaged, but we will. Uh, we're just trying to sort out our own finances first before we get into that step. Um, but we've got, we've really started sorting out like parts of the wedding, what we, where we want to get married and stuff, when we want to get married. Where we're going to get married is going to be insane. Like epic. when we epic. tell you, because we're going to do like a whole like a series on our channel of like the whole wedding preparation and obviously the wedding day, the honeymoon and everything. It's going to be amazing. If you're into marriage, wedding, engagements, come and join the channel Honestly. because we're going to do so many so much we're going to film the engagement when yeah. I propose I'm Dan's going to do the whole preparing for that video I'm going to have a photographer I'm going to have a videographer this is going to go on YouTube when I propose when you know when I'm picking out the ring I'm going to find I'm going yeah. to film when I'm picking out the ring obviously when I propose when we're getting married the lead up to it what the preparation we're going to get dress, like, the yeah dress, the just everything. like dress shop come dress shopping with me uh We've got an amazing theme, which is like perfect for us, and where we want to get married is perfect for us as well. You're gonna love it. It's gonna. It's be gonna be like so cool, good. and we've got such a good idea for our honeymoon as well. Uh, so that will be a good vlog mm -hmm. too, because obviously you know we're gonna stand and vlog it all. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, it'll be so good. So we're gonna be get married in July 2025. That is the plan. So when I go back to work, I am gonna start saving my money now because it's crunch time. I need to get that money saved. Right. Um, so then we're probably gonna like try for the baby that round the honeymoon time. Um, so hopefully it all works out then. <laughs> um, but then we're gonna stay at my house, like where we are now, where we're living with my mum. We're probably gonna stay here for like two years after we get married, mm. just so once I'm a midwife, I'll be earning a lot more money, which I'll be able to save a lot because we we do want to get a mortgage because we don't want to rent out a place um and then not be able to save we'd rather like stay here and pay a bit more a bit more more than less than what we would pay to rent each month stay with my mum basically we've got a good deal here. yeah exactly it's got a great deal there's a spare bedroom which could be the baby's room when we do have a baby because we're probably gonna at least have one baby here anyway save for the two years and then basically get a mortgage and film that whole process for you as well. You know, house tour, everything of our new place when we move. Because we do want to move down to the coastal way. Uh, so we will show you all that as well. But that will be two years after we get married. Because we don't want to be stupid and just move out because we're married. And just start a family and then basically be stuck in that cycle of renting. We're all about our life. preparation. Yeah, we want to be prepared. So... Obviously, once Dan's finished off paying his debts and stuff, he's going to help save money towards the wedding. We're going to get... We're, we need to go to a few banks, actually, just to ask them about their savings, mm -hmm. like saving accounts, and see which would be best for us. Because we want to start saving now, just to be prepared for our future. Because, you know, we're going to be in this journey for a long time, and yeah. we don't want to be stupid with it. We want to be prepared. We want to have be our snuggly. own house, yeah. Snuggly. Snuggly, yeah. Because I think it's important to have our own house, you know, because renting can go so wrong, you know. Mm. And to be honest, we probably wouldn't get a council house anyway. No. Uh, because, you know, the phone died. I mean, the camera died to run the phone. Uh, yeah, so they'd expect us to go private anyway. So, and private's expensive. Mm. And you don't know if they're going to want to sell the place one day and stuff. So we just think it's a best... We're at a great deal here, stay with yeah. my mum. So we're going to use it while we can. And she doesn't mind because obviously once 
we move out, she'll probably move into a smaller place anyway. And we love this house. Mm. So while we can stay here, we will and just save as much money as we can. Because that is the plan. We do want to have our own house. We do. Put our stamp on it. Yeah, exactly. Make it our own, you know, decorate how you want it, you know, have the kids' bedrooms and stuff. So have a gaming room for Dan. So it'll be good. But yeah, that's our plan. Yep. But what this video is about yes i think we are compatible we've got all these plans for our future if you met us you wouldn't think we are yeah if you've heard our arguments we can be quite fiery vocal but very vocal we are both aries i'm a march mm. aries mm. <laughs> he's an april aries so yeah we do clash with arguments but we are a very loving couple yeah so yeah but from that vi that test thing i think we're compatible, we're compatible yeah mm. so but we don't need a test to test we're compatible we know we are so in two years baby i think we're doing we're going strong yeah. we've had more than enough challenges so exactly I think we're doing work. but we just wanted to do a quiz and see <laughs> see what it said um but yeah we hope you enjoyed this video there will be more content coming your way mm -hmm. we've got lots planned uh two year anniversary is coming up so we are going to do a little video on it it's not it's going to be probably a short video because we're well oh yeah i just realized i'll be off work anyway stop because i go back to work on the 12th mm. if plans go to how it's supposed to not but you yeah exactly but you'll be at work and we can't do anything anyway so there's no point of you having the day off no um but we're probably going to get some food watch a movie and stuff so we will film the little clips that we have. Do what we can. Yeah. And then we're going to film. I feel like we've made this a tradition now. Because um, last year we filmed a one year as girlfriend and boyfriend video. So we're going to do another one of those. Mm -hmm. And see how our second year went, basically. That'd be so, fun yeah. times. But we have lots of videos coming your way. So we do hope you are enjoying the content. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, we're just trying to stick to it now. That's it, we're trying to be consistent. Exactly. And we've got lots, lots of good videos coming. So if you do even 1% like our videos. That's what it, I mean. Like, like, I looked on the, um, the bit where it tells you about your channel. And it says basically, like, I think 95% of you aren't subscribed that watch the videos. Mm. And 5% of you are subscribed. So... We're not Come gonna. On, guys. We're not gonna clog up your phone. It's just one video of a week. No, two videos a week. Two videos yeah. a week. Just come on, like, comment, subscribe. I've been Chelsea. I've been Daniel. This has been the Chelsea Chel Show. Show. You've been amazing. Like, comment, subscribe, please. Um, oh, yeah. tell us what videos you want as well. Mm. If there's any videos you guys want to see, you know, I'm happy to do it. Yeah, I've yeah. got a whole bunch of. A bunch of lists of videos that we've got planned to do. I was thinking about the video, mischief in the supermarket. Okay. You film me while I go around the supermarket doing naughty things. <laughs> opening a bottle of fizz, you know, opening popcorn and then putting it back behind other popcorns, like eating a bit. That's naughty. I don't know, maybe maybe throwing some popcorn, out, like some throwing it over the other aisle so people are like, what's going on? You go down the other aisle when I start flinging it over. Like you see in TikTok, I think it'll be a good like, mischief in the supermarket. It, it'll be coming. Yeah, that'd be I want to be a bit naughty. Yeah, we have lots of ideas. Mm. Tell so. me if you like that idea, mischief in the supermarket. <laughs> also, I'm working on Fat Man Diaries, my own channel. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Anyways, we've rambled on. Yeah. But you will see the good content coming your way. Yeah. So, yeah. Like, comment, subscribe. Tell us. What's going on with you? Stay safe out there. Yeah. You know what to do. Let's do the hand thing. Bye, guys. Here they are. <laughs>